What's going on, comicbook.com? I'm Jim Viscardi, and we are here at San Diego Comic-Con 2023, and with us in the studio, AEW superstars, Dan Housen, Brody King. Guys, welcome. Hello. Welcome, Brody King. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Guys, how... Uh, I always uh, am so interested in the in like, you guys are legit fans of kind of everything that happens at Comic Con. Do you guys get to enjoy time out on the floor? Uh, yes, I bullied him into buying a Goro, <laughs> so now he's uh, part with uh, Ethan Page and Dan Housing with the Goro Bros now, the triplets. I bet Malachi Black probably has a Goro too. Well, we should have known that prior to this, and he could have just been a Goro Bro. We would have replaced you. So, well, so good thing you didn't tell us. I've already been sworn in. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Um, you guys uh, are here, obviously, with uh, the folks over at Jazzwares who make the awesome AEW figures. Uh, what's it like for you guys to get figures of yourself? Uh, I think it's a dream come true, for me at least. I think for him as well. I'll let him speak in one second. But uh, that's, our, I think, our number one goals almost as a... A wrestling wall. What is, my number one goal is it should be on television and have great matches. But I think outside of that, one of the benefits is being in video games and having action figurines and all that type of thing. But as collectors, it's going to be a dream come true to be able to walk into a Target or a Toys R Us in Canada and see our action figures on the shelves. Yeah, I mean, I've been coming to Comic Con since I was like eight years old. Right. So you know, to have a display case with you know Dan Housen and mine didn't come in time. But, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, to have this representation of, like, the company I work for and, like, you know, the announcements that I'll be in a line this year, right. it's insane. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I mean, Comic-Con as like a whole is crazy. It's like, like I said, I was waiting in line just like everybody else. And now right. Tyler Kirkham is drawing me for yeah. whatnot. It's like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> can you actually, can you talk to, uh, talk a bit about that and how kind of like the thing with you and Tyler kind of came together? Because I saw that. Uh, and it looks freaking awesome. Oh, yeah. So uh, we whatnot, We started working for Whatnot last year. Yeah. Like about middle of the year. Uh, and they are just a super hands-on supportive company. And they just mm -hmm. want to do cool stuff. Right. So uh, they, the guy that we deal with a lot, Jack DeMeo, just kind of throws out ideas <laughs> just to see what sticks. And it's, uh, it, you know, like you said, we are kind of, uh, we encompass all things Comic-Con. So mm -hmm. it's like whether it be toys, comics movies were pretty much into it right so when he was just like hey uh i have this idea for tyler kirkham to do a print i'm like okay <laughs> like yeah he does like spider-man and you know batman but sure he can do me too like right. uh it doesn't in my brain it doesn't equate the same but now i have been drawn by tyler kirkham so yeah. that will be on sale on whatnot today actually oh, i don't know awesome. when this goes yeah. but uh you know they're like exclusive metal prints and then that's awesome i have other prints it's really right. cool yeah awesome uh dan hasn't i gotta ask uh this is a question a lot of fans uh have been wondering uh has cm punk given you the boot back boots back oh i had those back within a week oh okay. i think that's Perfect. a common misconception they are uh, going to be they're covered in his blood still by the way uh yeah he he texted me and said hey you can just grab them they're in my case so i've had those and they still fit I'm sure, I'm sure you're going to auction them off. <laughs> no, I'm keeping those. They're, they're my, my uh, shoes that have won the AEW championship. What? So. You think it was your shoes? He, oh, for sure. They magically fit him. <laughs> what size shoe do you wear? Uh, either Doc Martin, it is a 10. And I think he wears like an 11 and a half or something. I wear an 11 in a normal shoe, so he's, he's, we have the same foot. <laughs> Perhaps he's me. You're ruining the story. <laughs> It's supposed to be like, oh, we have drastically different feet, and what, this day that he needed my boots, that's they right. fit. Oh, yeah, well, that's true. Actually. Dan Housen wears a size 7. CM Punk wears a size 11. I size 7. Don't lie to people. You have tiny feet. It's not true. I'm wearing these fancy <laughs> shoes, and these are a size 11. Clown shoes. Yeah. Well, I guess. But anyways, I have the you boots. Have I got them back. Uh, Hook uh, is finding himself a bit solo uh, right now and you know, going up against... Jungle Boy. Is Jack there, Boy, Jack Perry, or whatever. Is there a, we have a Hookhausen reunion, maybe? People keep asking for it. We are undefeated, so I suppose. He did lose a title, I think, last night. So maybe uh, he could let uh, Jackalman, Jack Perry, or whatever his name is, uh, keep that one, and maybe we'll get the tag team titles. But I don't really want to fight FTR, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> 
good friends of mine and also they're quite good at professional wrestling. I don't want to wrestle for an hour. I think it would be tiring. <laughs> so. I, try to, I try to put it away much quicker than an hour. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, maybe I just groin punch him before the bell rings and schoolboy him across the leg. Throw him into a barricade. Yes, that's a good but, idea. Uh, Brody, I got to ask you, um, you know, obviously, tri- uh, you know, tri- Trio's champion. Do you have a, a, a you know, an opponent that you would want for All In in London? I mean, is this like dream scenario or is this uh, as, uh, in a trios? Let's go. Let's go trios. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, that that question is is hard. It's like, <laughs> are we talking within the realms of AEW? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's start there. Uh, I mean, I, I think it would be stupid to not say CMFTR. Like mm, mm-hmm. they are the top dogs and right. You know. I am the dog. So, <laughs> all right, awesome. Um, I, I I wanted to ask, talking about uh, House of Black, um, is if you weren't able to bring someone from uh, Violence Unlimited in to the house, who would it be? It's homicide, hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> I could only imagine. <laughs> If you if you've never seen Homicide or his promos, I recommend you go do it immediately. He is the best. He's also a great professional wrestler. But I can only imagine Malachi Black doing a House of Black promo, and then Homicide <laughs> oh. just busting out and doing, doing a homicide, homicide promo, yes. <laughs> where he usually talks about stabbing somebody with a fork or oh, yeah. you know. I like him. Yeah, he's great. He's a nice boy. I love it. Love it. Uh, so. Uh, to kind of bring it back to Comic Con and the whole event and all that stuff, uh, what are what are the things that you guys go to look out for? You know, when you guys are out on the floor. I mean, it is. Like what, it is what's so, the guilty? What's the the guilty habit? You know, the guilty pleasure habit. It's so overwhelming. I I feel like I almost have to like turn my brain off because I'll just spend all my money. But sure, I I, I get uh, enjoyment out of finding stuff for my kids or my wife. Like, okay. um, you know, there was like a Monster High. Uh, exclusive sure I, I knew that my wife would like that or like there was like a lego set that i know my kids would like mm-hmm. so it's like being able to like make them more excited because you know my wife is here right now but my okay. kids can't be here sure they're too young right now but uh i'm sure that they'll have a great time with what we bring home mm-hmm. uh, i usually just travel around because we just we we buy so much toys now that <laughs> right. usually we just have to find something kind of off the wall or one off or uh, mm-hmm. it's if it, unless it's new like there was lots of new stuff that debuted here but they're all prototypes so we can't buy them right. even though we tried uh, but I got some Alex Ross art this time now I try all to right. find uh, local artists or just artists in the artist alley and find someone who has something that'll catch my eye and then I can hang it on the wall and then it helps out this smaller business I love that I have yeah. a question yeah. can I bring up something that people should be looking out for Coming up at Comic Con, or do you have that on your little list? Go for it. So, Dan Housen will be on the cover of Batman 251. Ah. Uh, Did you have that on there? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. Jumping ahead. Go for it. No, no, no. I've ruined his, his interview. <laughs> so, I will tell you. You're good. Let's go. Uh, it is drawn by Bill Morrison. Uh, he did the Simpsons comic books for, uh, is it Bongo? Yes. Yes, he did the originals. So, with Bill Morrison drawing it, it's from Comic. Comic Pop Collectibles, mm-hmm. and the regular version will be debuting at uh, Baltimore Comic Con, okay. and I think it is limited to 3,000 copies only, nice. and then we have a New York Comic Con foil cover, and that will be uh, 2,000 copies total, that's awesome. I believe. It might be less than that. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's it, though. Could be less. It might be 2,000 and 1,000, mm-hmm. but we'll stand corrected at some point, probably. There you go. Perfect. We'll just put a graphic up that just... It, yeah, a little say, I think, hopefully. <laughs> right. Awesome. Guys, appreciate you taking the time to chat today. Thank you so much. You are welcome. For more on AEW and Comic-Con, keep it locked in to comicbook.com.